Is there are committees that review the nominations that are that have come up from the membership. There are twenty names that are that that uh, end up coming in, right? Yes. And then these there are committees that are called you call them secret committees, nomination review committees. Yes. <laughs> Others call them secret committees, it wasn't my term. But yes, and in that room, not only are there trustees that have uh, conflict of interest on particular artists that are nominated, but more importantly, there are even artists that are nominated that are in the room. <laughs> oh! For me, that's just such a blatant conflict of interest. This process, by the way, could be fair and transparent, and I believe artists, uh, I believe the good people at the Recording Academy, for which there are so many, so many good people on the board. They deserve better. So they should have a fair, transparent system. So rigged is a term you would apply to it? Or yes, not? it is. So rigged is a term you would apply to it? Or yes, it is. Your category, you believe that there's someone in the song of the year category shouldn't be in that category and someone else should, correct? I, I don't know who should or should not be. I just know that there are conflicts of interest. That taint the system. Specifically, what you allege in the complaint is yes. from that 20-name list for the song of the year... Someone at the bottom of that list... ...was moved up into the top five. Yes, that is true. That is. I don't want to name who that is for the artist's integrity. I think it's not about that. It's about the system. So why, did that, why did that occur? Why was that because name moved up? It, it, because there is a system of um, of uh, taking care of their own, I, I'll say that it's, it's mostly white male in those rooms uh, that that make these decisions, and um, there's conflict of interest. Let's say if you represented that artist, mm -hmm. you have a financial gain oh! if they, of course, get nominated but, but for a Grammy. Take our world was the deal. Back with another video, man. Chilling, man. It's it's late, man. <laughs> it's late, but uh, no, I saw this video about the Grammys and uh, the Grammys about to air soon. I think it's like February, like within the next two weeks. The Grammys about to air, and the CEO Deborah, she came out. And, uh, you know, she revealing their secrets. Now, we know, we know, you know what I'm saying? We know the Grammys been rigged. Like, um, I, I don't really watch the Grammys like that. You know, I never, you know, been too big on the Grammys. I did have a, like, when I first started rapping, I had a little fascination with it, but mainly uh what changed my thought was after what they did to kendrick like what i don't know if y'all remember but kendrick good kid man said it was like 012 when i was real focused on the grammys and shit 012 they gave it to like macklemore or some shit and uh you know that fucked up people they was like no the grammys real because everybody in hip-hop knew like, Good Kid, Mad City was a movie. Like, it was literally a, a audio-visual. It was literally an audio-visual. I don't know how Dr. Dre and Kendrick came up with this shit right here. But if you ain't never heard Good Kid, Mad City, I can listen to that junk right now. And it, it helped me get through that whole year. Whatever, 2012, whenever it came out, helped me get through that whole time. So, Good Kid, Mad City... It deserved the Grammy that year. And, you know, they had, you know what I'm saying? They they threw him under the bus and gave him to Macklemore. And it was like a viral tweet, like Macklemore texting Kendrick and shit. But we knew the Grammys was rigged. You know what I'm saying? I just think, I just find it funny, like, you know, I like seeing, you know, these, these motherfuckers, people in power who think they untouchable. Like, there's so many people in power right now that just got all this money they just think they're untouchable they think they're untouchable to the spirit they think their health is untouchable they think their reputation is untouchable you know what i'm saying they, they just walk around here like you know they they just untouchable and you know shit shit is full circle around this mother and that's what uh that's another reason why i'm making this video to let y'all know like everything come full circle like 
you know, they, they'll play you now, but you're going to get your credit. Like, you're going to get your just due. And, um, you know, I just I just found it funny. Like, to be honest, like, I never, after that, I never liked the Grammys. Like, it was so many different little moments, if y'all remember. Like, it's so many different little moments where, you know, we knew as, like, hip-hop culture, like, we knew as the people what was the best songs and shit, but it's a committee. It's like a board. It's a secret society going on. And these people is wicked. Like, they be, uh, you know, molesting a assistants. And you know what I'm saying? Because these are, these are, these people that's in power. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand, like, they ain't had no type of game. Like, they ain't had no type of, you know what I'm saying, flavor. You know what I'm saying? No sauce with it. They ain't had no, no type of, you know, uh, outside personal skills they just got rich bro they just got rich in you know doing whatever the fuck they doing like in the grammys or in hollywood and shit and then they use their power to seduce women you know what i'm saying they just use their power and money like they ain't had no no natural charisma out here in the streets man you know what i'm talking about they had no lingo they ain't had no slang they had you know, nothing to get draw people in, so they use their power to corrupt people. And when people speak up on it, like when people speak out on it, they be like, you know, they look down on or they ain't, they ain't really, you know what I'm saying? They hushed up real quick, you know, because they got money, they own the media outlets, they could do that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I find it funny, like, like I don't even want no Grammy, like, I want a BT award, like, I, I always wanted, since a kid, like, I wanted to be on one six in Park. Like, I, like, we gotta, we gotta start respecting BET Awards. We gotta, you know what I'm saying, put value in our shit, bro. We got a whole, we got whole platforms. But, you know, it's just, it's just so much shit go on, bro. So much shit has went on in America, you know, that, Make us forget, I should say. It make us forget. Like it's, it's, it was set up in society for us to, you know, not, not remember our truth. They they want it like that. You know what I'm saying? We too powerful. Out here. We too, too strong out here. You know. But uh, yeah, man. I, I'm I'm way off topic on this video, but uh, the Grammys is rigged, and we knew that. And um, it's coming out. It's some top niggas at the top. They molesters. You know what I'm saying? And um, they they say the statements are ludicrous. And you know what I'm saying? They got their legal terms to keep their reputation clean. But like I said, everything is full circle. These people in power are going to have to answer to the people. And the people going to become conscious of, you know, the wrongdoings. You know what I'm saying? It's like, they can't keep us entertained for long, man. Like, they've been keeping us entertained. And it's crazy, like, but fuck the Grammys at the end of the day, for real. Like, y'all shouldn't care about that. Y'all shouldn't care about that. Like, it's artists out here that really affect the culture. Like... Chief Keith would never need a Grammy. Chief Keith would never need a Grammy. He he made up ops. He made up thought. Like he got all these young niggas rocking dreads. He changed the whole culture. You know what I'm saying? He changed the whole rap culture. The young niggas, like that drill music, that drill sound. It didn't open up UK drill. It didn't open up New York drill. It didn't open up so many different artists. Chief Keep, 2012. You know, dropped on niggas, bro. And, and he had never needed a Grammy. He affected the culture. You know what I'm saying? I know Lil Wayne got Grammys, but Lil Wayne would have never needed a Grammy, bro. He don't need one. He, what he did is so implemented in society and the culture. Everybody know Wayne. Everybody... He got rappers titling their name Lil. Like, he was the first to do that shit. Stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, 
it's deep, man. There's so many artists that you can say that don't even need a Grammy, bro. It's like Gucci Mane will never need a Grammy. Gucci would never need a Grammy. He affected the hood so much. You know, he made so much. He made niggas. He made niggas get flat, man. Gucci made niggas smoke perps, man. He had niggas on dro. He had niggas on all type of shit, bro. Gucci, man. Gucci had niggas out there with the shits, bro. Like, jugging, man. All type of shit. You know, Future. I don't know if Future got a Grammy, but he'll never need a Grammy, bro. Future would never need a Grammy. You know what I'm saying? The future affected the culture. He affected the free band movement. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But future motivated a lot of niggas in the hoods and the ghetto to get money and that's out here getting money, you know, free band gang. You know what I'm talking about? Like future when future drop, you know what I'm saying? Uh God blessing all the trap niggas. You got to understand what that did to the minds of niggas in the hood. Like, he had never needed a Grammy, bro. Never. Play that song. Play that song in the summertime when you feeling good, bro. When you feeling blessed. Bro, it's going to make you feel like a king, bro. I ain't going to, not going to hold you up. Like, music is powerful. And they know hip-hop music is powerful. You know what I'm saying? That's why... Once they did Kendrick like that out toy, I was like, fuck the Grammy. But I, it's just it's just funny like how things come full circle. You know what I'm saying? Things come full circle when you when you got a bad heart, you know what I'm saying? And you're not doing good, you're not doing right by people, y'all got shit set up in place where you you know putting people down on purpose. Like you you Notice the winner, but you putting somebody else in position on purpose is because it's making your pockets fat. You know, that's what I don't understand. Like, you know, these niggas, bro. But, hey, it's your boy, Yon Where I know I'm just rambling, bro. But this is YouTube. I don't care who watched this video, man. This is Yon World Entertainment. Um, make sure y'all click every link in the description. Make sure you watch every video, you know what I'm saying? And um, comment, you know, tell me if you like the video. Tell me if you hate the video. Tell me if you don't even care. If you watch to this point, you got to care. You got to you gotta fuck with me some way. Something inside of you fuck with me. If you watch to right here, and this is the behind the scenes. Like we've been in the behind the scenes for at least five minutes now. So if you've been here for the past five minutes, you really fuck with me and I I fuck with you. Just know that like for real. If you write a comment, I'll respond to you. For real. So it's your boy Yon World. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. <laughs>